Hi guys, it's Darren here from Deep Blue Apps. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to change and edit Ghost Ships, our latest template. Now everything's in one table. You just go to table one. Now column one is enemy one, column two is enemy two, and so on and so on. I've put five different ghosts in for you. Now this number here just says how many of that particular type of ghost you want to appear on level one. So row one is level one, row two is level two and so on and so on. So the way it's set up here you can see we've got five enemy type one ghosts, two enemy type two ghosts, one enemy type three, four for four and two enemy type five ghosts. Now if we scroll along here column ten that's just the level you don't have to do anything with that just leave that on its own and uh, it'll count upwards. Now this is a hit point of the castle Let's just change that to 99. Let's just go across here and for level 1 we want to make it really easy. So we'll have none of the other ghosts and just 5 of the enemy type 1 ghosts. <coughs> Excuse me. Now these little ghosts here, they've only got one hit point and each ghost has its own separate hit points and also speed. And I'm going to show you how to change that as well. So there you go, I've got one more, here we go, we'll bash him down and level complete. Now let's just go in, let's just go into the scene because I want to get the actors. Now the enemies here, you can see we've got five enemies. Scroll down, hit points has got one and its speed is 100. Now if you want more hit points for the first ghost, then just increase that number there, say to two. If you want it to move faster. Let's say 130. We'll go into enemy two. And you guessed it, this one's got two hit points and it's got a slightly faster speed. So that's how you can edit and change the ghosts. And moving all the way along to enemy five, it's the fastest and hardest of the ghosts. He's got a speed of 200 and hit points to five. But like I've said, very easy to change that. And it's all done by tables. So you can pretty much have a game out there a hundred level game or as many levels you want. Um, if you wanted to make a hundred levels, probably take you about an hour to edit this table and then you've got a full game out there. So like I said, it's one of the easiest templates we've ever made for the end user and I'm sure um, you're going to make some nice games from it. You've got a readme file there telling you how to set up the tables, you've got notes in all the actors there um, like I've said, there's a lot of notes in the template as well, so you can understand how it works. And it's Darren, I'm going to sign out now, and I'll speak to you soon, guys. Thanks for the support over at deepblueapps.com.